If you see a pedestrian using a guide dog or carrying a white cane? A. The pedestrian must yield the right of way. B. You must yield the right of way. C. Honk your horn to let them know you are there. B. You must yield the right of way. Blind or partially blind pedestrians may carry a white cane or use the assistance of a guide dog. You must yield the right of way to a pedestrian with a guide dog or a white cane. When taking any medicine, you should a. Consult your doctor about the effects before driving. b. Have someone follow you home. c. Keep your window open and drive more slowly. a. Consult your doctor about the effects before driving. Legal medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, can potentially impair your ability to drive. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist if you have questions about how a particular drug or drug combination will affect your ability to drive. You should particularly make a point of talking with your doctor if they give you a prescription for a tranquilizer or sedative. If you parallel park facing downward on a hill? A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. B. Turn your wheels away from the side of the road. C. Keep your wheels straight. A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. When parking downhill, turn your front wheels toward the curb or edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road without a curb, turn your wheels toward the edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road with a curb, you must turn your front wheels away from the curb. This sign means A. Four-lane traffic ahead. B. Divided highway ahead. C. Two-way traffic ahead. C. Two-way traffic ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns that you are leaving a separated one-way highway and will soon be driving on a two-way highway. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. A sign with this shape means A. Railroad crossing B. Warning C. Signal ahead B. Warning A diamond-shaped yellow sign warns of possible danger ahead. Orange signs, which are mostly diamond-shaped, are used to warn of possible dangers in or near work areas. Various traffic control devices in construction and maintenance work areas are the color A. Red B. Orange C. Yellow B. Orange Orange warning signs are used in and around work zones. Use special caution when you see orange signs, cones, or barriers on a roadway. You may be able to identify an aggressive driver by a. Their erratic and improper lane changes. b. The number of passengers in their car. c. Their tendency to drive slowly. A. Their erratic and improper lane changes. While driving, you should remain aware of the actions of surrounding drivers. If you notice an aggressive driver nearby making erratic or improper lane changes, you should not challenge them. The safest way to handle an aggressive driver is to get out of their way. You must notify MVD of an address change within a. 10 days. B. 30 days. C. 45 days. A. 10 days. You are required to notify MVD of any change to your name or address within 10 days of the change.
This sign means A. Trucks entering. B. Truck exit only. C. Steep downgrade ahead. C. Steep downgrade ahead. This sign warns that a steep downgrade is ahead on the road. Drivers should check their brakes. If a child is riding a bicycle near your vehicle, A. Beep your horn. B. Expect the child to be in total control of the bicycle. C. Expect the unexpected. C. Expect the unexpected. Children on bicycles are sometimes unpredictable. Young bicyclists are especially likely to make surprising changes in direction. Remember that children and bicycles are both small in stature and may become difficult to see. When you see an emergency vehicle approaching while using its flashing lights, you must A. Maintain your speed and stay in your lane until the vehicle has passed. B. Move into the right lane and drive slowly until the vehicle has passed. C. Pull over to the curb or edge of the road and stop until the vehicle has passed. C. Pull over to the curb or edge of the road and stop until the vehicle has passed. If you see an emergency vehicle approaching while using its flashing lights, pull over to the right edge of the road and stop. Position yourself parallel to the curb. On one-way streets, drive toward the road edge nearest you. If you drive more slowly than the flow of traffic, you will most likely A. Interfere with traffic and receive a ticket. B. Improve traffic flow. C. Demonstrate defensive driving techniques. A. Interfere with traffic and receive a ticket. You must drive more slowly than usual when there is heavy traffic or bad weather. However, if you block the normal and reasonable movement of traffic by driving too slowly, you may be cited. You should match the speed of traffic, unless the speed of traffic exceeds the legal speed limit. This road sign means A. Steep grade ahead. B. The road ahead winds with a series of turns or curves. C. Slippery when wet. As the percentage of alcohol BAC in your blood increases, you become A. More intoxicated. B. More sober. C. More coordinated. A. More intoxicated. Blood alcohol concentration BAC is a measure of the percentage of alcohol in a person's blood. The higher the BAC, the more impaired a person is. The driver ahead of you stops at a crosswalk. What should you do? A. Cautiously pass the vehicle at 10 miles per hour or slower. B. Stop, proceeding only when all the pedestrians have crossed. C. Change lanes, look carefully, and pass the stopped vehicle. B. Stop, proceeding only when all the pedestrians have crossed. You must not pass a vehicle that is stopped at a crosswalk. There may be pedestrians crossing the street that you cannot see. Instead, stop, proceeding only after all pedestrians have crossed. To help others see you when daylight begins to fade, you should use your A. Parking lights. B. Low beam headlights. C. Emergency flashers. B. Low beam headlights. As daylight begins to fade, turn on your low beams to help others see you. Only use your high beam headlights in an open area where no other drivers are present. This sign means A. No right turn. B. Stop sign ahead. C. Divided highway. A. No right turn.
This sign indicates that turns in the direction of the arrow in this case, to the right, are prohibited. This sign means a. Slow down, curving road ahead. b. Slow down and do not use your brakes. c. Slow down, slippery when wet. c. Slow down, slippery when wet. This sign warns that the road ahead becomes slippery when wet. Tailgating other drivers driving too closely to their rear bumper. A. Can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. B. Cannot result in a traffic citation. C. Reduces collisions by preventing being cut off. A. Can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. Tailgating is a common behavior that can lead to aggressive driving, and so it should be avoided. Drivers may face legal consequences for driving unsafely. Regulatory signs are A. Green B. Yellow C. White What is the only medically proven method of removing alcohol or other drug combinations from your system? A. Breathe in some fresh air. B. Give your body time. C. Drink coffee. B. Give your body time. Alcohol takes effect quickly and is slow to leave your system. Cold showers, black coffee, and exercise will do nothing to reduce a person's blood alcohol content, BAC. The only way to lower your BAC is to wait. This sign means A. One-way traffic. B. Intersection ahead. C. Merging traffic from the right. C. Merging traffic from the right. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign tells drivers to prepare to allow traffic to safely merge from the right. You should yield to a pedestrian? A. Only if they are in a crosswalk. B. At all times, even if the pedestrian is not obeying traffic laws. C. Only if the traffic lights are in the pedestrian's favor. B. At all times, even if the pedestrian is not obeying traffic laws. Always be aware of pedestrians near your vehicle. You must do everything you can to prevent striking a pedestrian, regardless of the circumstances. This sign means A. You should stop for other traffic. B. Traffic is entering from another road and you should allow additional space for drivers to merge safely into the flow of traffic. C. Traffic is entering from another road and you should keep right. B. Traffic is entering from another road and you should allow additional space for drivers to merge safely into the flow of traffic. This sign alerts you to the possibility of traffic merging into the mainstream of travel. After checking to your side and rear, you should move into another lane, if possible, to allow merging motorists a clear path. Which of the following substances can affect the ability to drive? A. Tranquilizers, marijuana, and sedatives. B. Cough syrups and cold tablets containing codeine or antihistamines. C. All of the above. Alcohol in any concentration is? A. A stimulant. B. A depressant. C. Neither of the above. B. A depressant. Alcohol, in any concentration, is a depressant. It slows all nerve impulses and bodily functions, resulting in a lessening of inhibitions and negatively affecting a consumer's ability to concentrate and stay alert. In inclement weather, you should 
A. Steer off the road. B. Drive in a low gear. C. Steer and brake smoothly. C. Steer and brake smoothly. When driving during unfavorable weather conditions, avoid slamming on the brakes and making sharp, quick turns. These behaviors will make controlling your vehicle in inclement weather even more difficult. If you must park your vehicle in an area not usually used for parking? A. Park with your reverse lights on. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. C. Park 5 feet from the curb. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Drivers are responsible for making sure their vehicles do not become hazards after they have been parked. Wherever you park, make sure your car is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. At intersections, crosswalks, and railroad crossings, you should always a. Stop, listen, and proceed cautiously. b. Look to the sides of your vehicle to see what is coming. c. Slowly pass vehicles that seem to be stopped for no reason. b. Look to the sides of your vehicle to see what is coming. Any time you come to a place where people may cross or enter your path, or where one line of traffic meets another, you should look to the left and right sides of your vehicle to make sure no one is coming. If bad weather makes it difficult for you to see clearly, you should a. Speed up to get off the road quickly. b. Drive in the lane closest to oncoming traffic. c. Increase your following distance. C. Increase your following distance. When it is difficult to see due to darkness or poor weather, increase your following distance. This will give you more time to react to hazards that you may not see in advance. 